Solvency refers to a company's ability to remain in business over the long term and satisfy its long term obligations. Solvency is related to liquidity but differs with respect to time frame. Liquidity is a little bit more short term whereas solvency is long term. Liquidity measures the ability to pay short term debt whereas solvency measures the ability to stay financially healthy over the long run. Solvency focuses on the capital structure and assesses the extent of borrowing needed. Closely related to the concept of solvency is the use of financial leverage, which refers to the degree to which a company obtains capital through debt rather than equity in an attempt to increase returns to stockholders. Capital structure refers to the relationship between debt and stockholders' equity. Although it's impossible to know whether a company will or will not be able to pay future obligations and remain solvent, three ratios can provide some indication of a company's general solvency. They are first, debt to assets, second, debt to equity, and third, times interest earned. These ratios show how, as a company uses more financial leverage, it creates an opportunity for greater returns to stockholders, but also greater solvency risk. So let's look at those three ratios. The debt to assets ratio compares a company's total liabilities to its total assets and yields the percentage of assets provided by creditors. As such, the ratio provides a measure of a company's capital structure. A decreasing ratio shows that a company is taking on a less risky capital structure over time. So let's look at Best Buy again. Their ratio of debt to assets of 0.59 is lower than it has been in both of the prior years, so that indicates that its um, capital structure is decreasingly risky because they're using less financial leverage. Um, but it's still higher than H.H. H. Gregg, showing that Best Buy still has a somewhat riskier capital structure than H.H. H. Gregg. Now the debt to equity ratio compares a company's total liabilities to its total equity. Higher debt to equity ratios indicate a riskier capital structure and therefore greater risk of insolvency. Companies with higher debt to equity ratios are also said to be highly leveraged. So let's look at Best Buy. They've got a debt to equity ratio of 1.45, which is lower than the last two years. So again, their capital structure is becoming less dependent on liabilities and therefore less risky. But H.H. Gregg's debt to equity ratio has also declined over the three years and it's um, almost half of Best Buy's. The times interest earned ratio compares a company's net income to its interest expense. It shows how well a company can pay interest out of current year earnings. A higher ratio indicates a greater ability to make payments and therefore less risk of insolvency. So for Best Buy, their times interest earned ratio is 23.9, so they shouldn't have any problems paying their interest when it becomes due. And I flipped too fast, but also it was much higher than H.H. Gregg. So just summarizing the solvency ratios for Best Buy, Based on the three ratios that we looked at, it does appear that Best Buy's capital structure is trending toward less debt, making them less risky. So their solvency risk has decreased.